Hey guys, you are watching Video Apple, a very cool DIY channel where we get to make something and we have fun. In this video, we will be making some insect robo bugs. We will be making some vibra bots, some solar bots, and some bristle bots. So let's get started. Before getting into the video, let me tell you a little bit about myself guys. I'm doing a regular job. I have a family that I take care of, but DIY is my passion and I'm able to keep this passion alive because of your support. I thank all of my subscribers for the encouragement. If you are not subscribed to this channel yet, please do so. Let's get into the video. Let's make some robo bugs. Let's have fun. Let's make a vibro bot. And for this, you will need a button cell holder, vibrator motor salvage from broken cell phones, a tiny switch, paper clips, button cells, perforated circuit boards and some tools to work with. I am going to make the VibraBot on a perforated common circuit board. Therefore, I lay the components on it. I then mark the necessary portion and cut it out. First, I soldered the vibrator motor, a switch and the button cell holder. I switched it on for a quick check and it's working fine. Then, I soldered the LED on the circuit board and checked it again. This is how the components are connected. It's finally the time to add some legs to the insect robot and I'm using paper clips to do so. I hot glue the legs and switch it on. And our little robobot comes to life. You could use the similar methods to make bigger vibrobots. I used a 9 volt battery and attached the legs using hot glue. For the vibrator, I took a motor and a gear that fits. Then I cut the gear in half and secured it with hot glue. I then added excess amount of hot glue on one side to offset its weight. It was now time to solder the connections. Switch it on and enjoy the show. You could tweak the legs of the VibraBots for various kinds of movements. Let's make a bristle bot. To make the bristle bot, I am going to use a toothbrush. The methods are same as before. Except for the legs, we are using a brush. I am not using a perforated board here. I am simply going to hot glue all the parts together. I bend the leads of the components to accommodate on the brush and solder them all. Once done, I check the connection before gluing them. I hot glued the assembly on the brush and switched it on. The bristle bot gets into its action. Like we did earlier, we could use the same methods to make bigger bristle bots. And I'm using shoe brush for this. I hot glued a battery holder which has an inbuilt switch. I then connected it to a 3 volt motor. I used an alligator clip to offset the weight of the motor. The alligator clip was secured firmly with hot glue onto the shaft of the motor. Once done, switch it on to see a jumbo insect bug coming to life. Let us make a solar bot. To make a solar bot, I connected a motor to the solar cell. The solar cell is already soldered to a diode to avoid reverse current flowing into it and damaging it. I then added some legs with paper clips as before. Note that for this make you need a solar cell that could drive the motor. Otherwise, you need a bit more of electronics which could store the charge and then run the motor. Now that is going to be another video. But now let's see our bugs move around. This is a solar grasshopper I ordered from eBay. Check the link in the description to get one if you don't have the time, patience or materials to make one. I will talk about it in detail on a video about inexpensive toy collection that I have. This is a fun project and easy to build. So make one and have fun. So guys, I think I've covered enough for you to start with your first insect rubber bug. Good luck with your DIY. Please subscribe to this channel, Video Epo. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Please watch my other videos too. Until then, bye.